Adnan asked us to give him an idea of how to interlock A and E. This was not easy, but we managed to interlock Adnan edits AE and we've given him a bonus video of how to maybe not interlock A and E because it's not the easiest alphabet. But let's jump in on Canva and interlock the A and E. Access www.canva.com and then scroll down to logo and create a blank canvas of a logo. Once that's open, press T to add text. You can also go on your designer area and select text to add text. Type in A and then change your font to the ABZ. This is a free Canva account. That I'm using so you will be able to use it on free or pro so choose the font ABZ and then size it and make it 200 this is where you should change the color at none you can choose the color that you want I decided you like blue so I went with a nice blue for you I saw on your channel that you had blue and different kinds of blue so we're gonna go with that blue and then copy the a by either control c and control v or command c command v and then change the alphabet to a e and make that color white and move your white color over to your e so that you create an interlock gap between the two alphabets and copy that command c or command v and then change to a different kind of blue or a different blue that you want i chose that for adnan he can go at it and make it whatever he wants then align the new e over to your e highlight the alphabet so the logo itself group it so that it is one and then move it and align it so that it is centered then press t for text and add adnan's name That's pretty much it. So from your uh, design area, you could press L to add an extra line just for design purposes, but that's up to you. And you could change the color so that it aligns to your design and make the points rounded. And your 2D logo for the first one is pretty much done. If you have Pro, you could download it as a transparent background, but we're using the free account. You just download it as normal so you go and you download it as a png and then you're ready to jump to remove background and then go to photo p but we're gonna then jump to remove background upload our 2d logo and the remove bg makes a gap for us automatically so we click on download and it is downloaded we go to www.photop.com and we open our PSD templates so that we can convert it to a 3D file. This is a nice paper logo mockup that I would like us to use, but if you don't find any logo mockups on the main page, you just click on mockups and you go look for the one that you would like to use. I like this one. You would click on the photop.com hashtag that number and it will open the template. Once the template is open, you're going to move on to the right, double click on the checkered box where it says your logo here on the checkered box. You double click on there and then you click on the eye to hide the design. You drag the logo that you've just created. You size it and align it. You go file, save a smart object. If you don't see save a smart object, you've skipped a step and you need to just retract your step and go back. Now it's saved as smart objects. The lines are gone. You click once where it says paper logo mockup and there's your logo is done. It's beautiful and it is converted to a 3D logo. So all you do now, you export it as a PNG or whichever format that you want. We're gonna go with PNG and we're happy with that. You could reduce the width if you don't want it to pixelate a lot. And then you just click on save and your 3D logo is done and exported and you're ready to go. So we're going to go back to Canva and quickly do the second logo. 
which is not going to take us long so from here we just add an extra page and we have a blank canvas we press t for text and we type a we also size the a and then for this one we're going to change the font and make the font this gota light font created a be a master with canva academy course there's a full-on section that is dedicated to just logos so if you scroll to section two there's like intro to logo all the way to creating your own designs etc so head on over to learn with za go register for the course and enroll thank you for joining me today i will see you on the next video